Hello, this is Adam with XLaser. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the prism functions of our control system Mercury as shown on a Skywriter HPX 5 watt using the AvoLights control system. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and locate the fixture. In order to show things off a bit better, I'm going to actually go ahead and change the gobo here. Go with a square. So I'm going to pull up the attribute editor here, but you can also do all of this from the encoders. And I'm going to go down here to my prism modes. In here, I've got a whole bunch of very basic prisms, 1x2, 1x3, etc. For each of these prisms, I can also change our spacing on both the X and the Y axis. can also change our rotation angle between the different facets of the prism. On top of that, if we go to the geometric pre, from that I can actually scale our image before it goes through the prism. Or I can come to geometric post and I can scale it after the prism. And those both stack appropriately. I can also come back into geometric pre or post and I can do things like spin effects. So I can give these a slow clockwise spin. And then I can go to the geometric post and I can give a whole thing a counterclockwise spin after the prism. So now each of the facets is rotating as well as the entire prism. I can keep those while still modifying things like my spacing. So I can get some really cool little dancing effects by putting those on a shape generator change my offset so that they're never quite square to each other and then of course change the prism mode one of the fun things that you can do with prisms is layering them with color effects so if I come here to the color effect and instead of pre I choose post as in after the prism then I can go ahead and I can pick a gradient I'll go with a static linear gradient. I'll choose color one to be red, color two to be blue. And you can see that they're moving in and out of the gradient. The gradient stays in one spot when I set it for post, but the laser moves in and out. So this allows you to always have, you know, the left half red, the green ha right half blue, or whatever color combination at whatever angle you want come in here and change the angle to 90 degrees. So that's a fun example of things you can do with color and prisms.